Hi guys, nothing drives me more crazy than unzeroed rifle and uh, you would be surprised but very often when I'm traveling across the country uh, I'm meeting with you and uh, you are admitting that uh, yes, your life wasn't zeroed. Uh, it doesn't matter if you're running an iron sights or optic. Uh, we try to shoot it and it turns out that you didn't even have a chance to zero it or uh, you didn't know how to zero it. So enough is enough. Let's address this issue once uh, for all. Here I got only the iron sights and I have found some targets uh, specially dedicated for the AK rifle which is supposed to make that zeroing procedure extremely easy for you. We'll go through the whole process, so buckle up because this is exactly what we're going to do right now. Okay, I got a target set at 25 yards. Look at, at my rear support. During the zeroing, you want to be as comfortable as possible. So I'm using a front support. I just put the backpack to support the rifle up front, but on the rear, I have Armageddon gear, uh, my uh, rear bags, uh, you can make your own shooting sack, that's not a problem, but have something what will eliminate shakes uh, or movement as much as possible. And then focus on the sights. The rear sight per instructions is set on number two and uh, we're going to align the sights and I'm going to execute five shots on the square target and make the adjustments. So let me do that right now. Get as comfy behind that rifle as possible, guys. Align the sights and remember, we are placing the front post underneath of that black square and focus shift the focus completely on that front post. Okay, that was the first shot. Relax, breathe. I'm interested to see how this old, old wasser will actually do. As way past 10,000 rounds on the barrel, minimum maintenance. How many shots, Ula? Don't know. Four, <laughs> five. All right. I think that was five shots, if not. That's fine, we got more than three. I'll have a look through the scope and we'll see where we are at on that paper. Of course, you're seeing it already in the video. Okay, I got five shots and we have, uh, most of the shots are slightly underneath of the square and on the right side. So, we have to now, when you are behind the rifle guys, when you are behind the rifle, looking from behind the rifle, we're going to twist the front post in a little bit to raise that point of impact. And then we're going to push at the front post just a touch towards the right side because of course, as you can see, we are impact, impacting on the right side from center. So if you are impacting on the right side from the center, you have to push this towards the direction of where the impacts are. So let me get my trusted tool from Magnamatic and of course the link will be under the video description for that tool. So you don't have to go crazy. You will have the link to that tool. It's the best tool on the market, period. And now I'm going just to watch my front post and push it a little bit. There we go. Okay, just a little bit. That's it. Remove it. The front adjusting tool. Of course, watch out for your fingers. Don't do anything stupid, don't cover the muzzle and muzzle awareness all the time, guys, when doing it. Or you can just remove the round from the chamber. But here we are completely protected from everything. So 
I adjusted the tool, let me shoot another group and we'll see if I'm happy with it. Again, go behind the rifle, relax. Two more shots. One more. Just for fun. Okay, safety on. Let me go behind the scope. And yep, we raised the point uh, and we are more or less in the middle. For 25 yards, I would say this is it. This is where we want to be at this point. We'll take it to the 100 yards. And from the 100 yards, I will make sure and verify stage two of adjusting the sights that we are hitting a target from 100 yards. Okay, so let's go. 100 yards, now what we're going to do, you have to adjust the rear slider, move it to position number three, and we're basically going to repeat what we did at 25 yards. So I'll aim at the bottom of that uh, black rectangle, and I'll do my best shooting five uh, shots, and hopefully they will all land uh, in that gray rectangle. So that's the idea. If not, we'll make some adjustments and we'll go from there. Again, get as comfortable as you can. Okay, I hope I didn't rush. <laughs> Let me check how's that group looking like. So yes, we are within the gray box. I see at last at least uh, one, two, three hits in the gray box. Then uh, two other ones escaped, but I would say we are zeroed. Uh, I know the group is an impressive guys, uh, but as I said, this is a beat up wasser. Uh, that barrel uh, is still shooting and everything, but the accuracy may not be there. Also, the ammo choice will tell you, uh, you know, uh, how you're going to group. But let me see if I can do the better group right now and we'll see how we're grouping. But from what I'm seeing, I like what I'm seeing so far, as far as uh, where the shots are landing. Okay, five shots. Again, let me check quickly. Yeah, and I group it a little bit more out the way I'm seeing now. So we'll just make the small adjustments. The rifle heat up too. And you have to remember when you are heating up the rifle, you're gaining a little bit speed, right? So uh, let me drop this to move the point of impact. Right now we have to unscrew the front post. 
okay? So we're screwing it to move it up and I'll unscrew it a little bit like this and we'll see how we did on that now. Okay, five shots. Again, let's see how we did. Oh yeah, this is it. So this is how we're going to keep it right now, guys. And uh, basically you can move it to so-called battle settings, uh, P on this rear slider. And uh, this is how you uh, can start engaging the targets within at 300 meters and you should be on the uh, human size target with that battle settings from 0 to 300. Uh, if you want to be more precise then of course put a slider on number one when you're shooting from uh, 100 meters or within the uh, 100 yards then two three and so on. Uh, a link to those targets is uh, in the video description and uh, you can purchase them obviously the directions and everything is printed on those targets so it should be a really easy process but as you could see guys it didn't took that long for me to zero this rifle and I cannot uh, stress this out when you have your weapon and I don't care what you have you have a red dot optic or iron sights the weapon should be zeroed and don't think like if you zero it like we here in the midwest we zero it in summer right now almost 100 degrees right your point of impact with the same ammo lot will change in the winter time or even in the fall when the temperatures will start dropping to 32 below 32 degrees your point of impact will be different from what you have today so you should re-zero your weapon when the weather uh, changes dramatically when you're going from uh, those uh, you know phases between the uh, fall winter spring and summer uh, you should check your zero also when you changing the ammo lots you should check your zero when you upgrading your muzzle device check your zero there is no excuse to not have your rifle zeroed uh, I, I, in my eyes, that's a negligence and that's on you. Thanks for watching, guys.